A puppy mill is a horrible money-making machine for unscrupulous people who care nothing about the well-being, the, the soul, the gentleness that is a dog. I shudder to think about what happened to Ruby before she came to live with us. We met her at the Humane Society and she was so scrawny, she hardly had any hair on her tail, she hardly had any hair on her hindquarters, and I just think that she lived like that, confined for six years, six years. Um, a puppy miller will keep them in less than ideal conditions as far as cleanliness. They live on wire cages sometimes, so that the feces can just pass through to something below. We thought Ruby's hair was quite unique. Uh, her head was um, gray. From the shoulders down, the rest of the body was brown. And they said, oh no, that's um, urine scalding. And that, that, was, that shocked us. It uh, turns out that when dogs spend a lot of time in feces and in urine, the urine actually has a lot of ammonia in it, burns the skin. Those dogs get little to no vet care. There was a dog that came out of one of those puppy mills. We called her Tulip. Tulip had a, a deformity. She must have jumped off of something and um, snapped her leg in half. This leg is permanently healed this way and nobody cared for her and so she lay there in that horrible little space. I try so hard not to think about her time before she was with us. If you're going to buy a pet at a pet store, I would almost say that 90% of them come from puppy mills, maybe even more. And Ruby's Love Letter Legacy is geared at helping to stop puppy mills. There is going to be no reason for people not to get involved. All people have to do is go to the Ruby's Love Letter Legacy Facebook group page. There's a pinned post with campaign directions. Read it, then look under the File tab and download the appropriate letter. There's also a list with addresses and links so you know where to send your letters. We're asking people to send at least four letters if they can to the Prime Minister, to their federal MP, to their provincial MPP or MLA, and one to a minister that is responsible for animal welfare either federally or provincially. Uh, international supporters, please send to the Prime Minister of Canada. We're asking that the letters be mailed in red envelopes because it's centered around Valentine's Day and it will make a huge impact if all of a sudden an influx of red envelopes appear on some MP or MPP's desk. We know this is going to be an amazing campaign because we have an anti-puppy mill champion in our corner. My name is Nathaniel Erskine-Smith. I'm the Member of Parliament for Beaches East York. I'll be introducing in February legislation to update our animal welfare laws into the 21st century and protect animals across our country. I hope you'll join me in supporting Ruby's Love Letter Legacy and write your local MP to stop puppy mills. I'll certainly be writing a letter to my colleagues uh, about this important issue. The Canadian public want puppy mills banned. We want these animals treated properly and we want penalties for people who do not do that. It's a horrible thing for a dog to be put through. They do not deserve to live in barns and basements and be bred over and over again and, and be starved and have their hair mat over where they pee and where they see. And it, oh, it just, it's an awful, awful way for a dog to live.